Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. Since we last saw each other, which actually wasn't all that long ago, I did a live stream. And in that live stream I made lots and lots of progress with Galacticraft and getting to the moon. And it sort of was a little bit out of order because I actually recorded the last episode before I did the live stream. But it, being, it was posted after the live stream, so it was a little bit backwards. But anyway... If you missed the live stream, um, feel free to check out the link in the description. It'll take you to the VOD. You can recap on whatever you want. It was a lot of tedious work and just making resources we need to, to build the rocket and uh, and the equipment we're going to need to generate oxygen on the moon, make a moon base, etc., etc. But it seems like we're basically ready to go. Oh, man, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's taking a long time. But finally, we're going to get to go to the moon. It's going to be fantastic. Um, I'm just dumping out the, uh, the smeltery of all the tin that I, I got smelting. Um, but what I do need to do is I need to make lots and lots of fuel so that I can fuel up my rocket and, and use the fuel to go to the moon. All right, so why don't we load this thing up real quickly? I'm hoping, I don't actually know how much rocket fuel I need. I'm hoping it's not an extremely absurd amount, um, but let me go and, and fill up a little bit more on some oil. Uh, but in the meantime, allow me to show you what was accomplished in the stream. We've got all of the rocket parts that we need, we have the uh, the heavy duty plate, the nose cone, the, uh, the rocket engine, the fins, um, the oxygen stuff that we're going to need to generate the oxygen bubbles and stuff. I actually uh, forgot in the stream that we're going to need some power for the stuff, so I have another geothermal generator, an ender tank, a, uh, a fuel tank that we're going to need in order to uh, grab fuel out of there, take it to the rocket to, to get filled up. I have some leaves, I have some saplings so that we have... Uh, Oxygen generators on the moon, some bone meal to uh, grow the trees, some chests so that we can have a chest rocket kind of dealio. I don't think I need to bring that with me. It's not going to be of much use. And we have a flag to mock our territory. It's going to be great. Actually, do I want to color the flag? Maybe I should color the flag. Uh, and I have oxygen pipes and aluminum wire. So, uh, flag, let's see. Is it easy to color the flag? I'm thinking maybe a red flag would be great. And let's do that. Let's just color the flag real quickly in that. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, there. And then uh, red dye. Do I have any red dye? Oh, yeah. Heart canisters as well. Do I have the resources to do that? Because I haven't... That I, that could actually be really helpful. Um, so that I can give myself extra hearts. Let me see. Rose. Uh, oh, I used it all. Whoops. Welp. Maybe we'll make it another color. Do I have anything dye? Ooh, I actually like that. Let's do that. Nice and a nice green flag, a lime flag, fantastic. Let's uh, let's go with that, and uh, and ye, good to go there. Oh yeah, heart canister. I was gonna look that up. Heart canister. Um, what was the uh, the recipe for that? Oh, Tinker's construct jeweled apple. I can make that. And then what was this again? I can totally yeah. I can make some heart canisters right now. Awesome. I think I have necrotic bones, right? Right. Uh, necrotic. Yes, I do. I have five of them. And I happen to have five hearts. All right, boom. This is going to happen right now. And then what was it again? Um, this is aluminum. So I need to use 20 aluminum and then uh, also diamonds. Oh, I can just make these right off here. Boom, two, three, four, five. We're actually gonna start running low on aluminum. So I may need to mine some more pretty soon. And then uh, the jeweled apple thing, boom. One, two, three, four, five. We have lots of diamonds, so not a big deal there. And then uh, throw it all back in, and boom, and boom, and five of them. All right, give me, give me them extra hearts. One, two, three, four, five. Check it. Woohoo! Okay, got five extra hearts. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I, I should have done that earlier. I totally forgot that we had all the resources we need in order to, to do it. Okay, so uh, anyway, how are we doing over here with the refinery? It's going very slowly. Um, but uh, let me, as I said I was going to do, go and uh, run and grab some more oil real quick. I don't know how much we need. I should have looked up exactly how much we need in order to fuel the rocket. But I guess what I'll do is I can like partially fill up the uh, the canister and then uh, and then start, start loading up the rocket fuel and just see... Um, how uh, how much it ends up uh, taking, like what percentage uh, it fills up. So we shall see. But in the meantime, let's grab lots and lots of oil. Oh, by the way, I can uh, I can actually run to the what should we call it? 
I can run back into Twilight Forest real quick and just grab some of the fuel that's there. Um, and that is 10. Yep. Yeah, I could do that real quick just to, to get a little bit more. I, I've been meaning to... Um, I've been meaning to go into Twilight Forest and, and put in a geothermal generator to our uh, to our quarry, just so that we don't have to keep using fuel, and then we'll have a little bit extra fuel for the uh, the rocket. Anyway, that's probably a good way to, to go about doing it, so I'm going to run into Twilight Forest real quick. Um, I keep <laughs> I keep forgetting I, I don't need to open the door manually anymore. Um, oh, by the way, follow up on the uh, on the, the food generator. I'm, I'm dumb. Didn't realize that the uh, the soul shard spawners work sort of the same way as uh, as regular uh, regular old spawners, and and that you have to be in proximity of them. So even having a chunk loader over there doesn't do anything. So we're really if we want it to work all the time, we're gonna have to move the whole setup back to these chunks. Um, just because I'm usually in this area, so that's the best place to put it because then the pigs will keep spawning. Um, so that was a little bit of a mistake. But uh, I can do that in a stream or something. The uh, the mechanism works just fine. So, anyway. Alright. Keep doing that. And I can go and uh, run to Twilight Forest really quickly. Grab some more fuel from there. Alright. And keep it going. Keep it going. Me and my 15 hearts. Whoops. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Sorry, I think I I think I messed up the door real quick. All right, so let's do that. Okay, and where are you? In the meantime, I can't actually build the rocket. It could be it could be nice to do. Okay, boom, and whoop, chunks load. Just gonna grab a gonna grab the remaining fuel out of here because I think it'll speed up the process. Cool. How many was that? Six. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. There we go. Save us a little bit of time. Just a little bit. And then let's make a rocket, dude. It's long overdue. I should have started off the episode by doing that, but then at the same time, it would have been more of a wait after the rocket is just sitting there, sitting there all lonely, wanting to do something, not able to fulfill its purpose because it's waiting on a stupid fuel because it's dependent upon something else. Unfortunately, the rocket cannot fly on its own. Uh, I can't. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. Really? Is that... I can't fill it. I have to fill up the canister this way. That's rude. So I wasted my time there. Fair enough. Okay, anyway, well, let me grab the... Uh, I'll just grab the fuel canister and just see how much it fills up. Um, like this. Okay. Oh, that totally filled it up. Uh, hmm. Well, we're going to see how much fuel the rocket needs. Okay. Let's go and build this thing. Let's, uh, let me fill up my inventory. I'm going to throw the fuel back in here real quick. If I can find a use for it, I will. Um, otherwise, who cares? All right, let's grab our stuff. Oh, man. And then when we get there, fortunately, we have our telepads, so we don't have to, like, rock it back and forth. It'll be real easy to switch dimensions. Unless, of course, um, it's diff it's not compatible. I think it'll be compatible because it's just another dimension. I was, uh, I was saying in the live stream it would be really cool if um if like the the portal gun mod maker Aichun and I think his name is McDoodle who makes uh, Galacticraft like work together and they actually set it up so that if you shot a portal at the moon rather than it just killing you because it sucks you in like through the gravity and the low pressure and stuff um uh, you actually could like go between dimensions you shoot a portal at the moon and you can uh, you can go there and you shoot a portal back down to earth from the moon and you can go back to, to Earth or Minecraft or whatever you prefer to call it. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, let's make a let's make a rocket. Let's do it. It's happening. The time is finally here. And uh, so we have our three chests that we're gonna go there, and then we have our heavy plating, which I actually have two extra. Our nose cone, rocket fins, and the engine. <gasps> it has been done. The rocket exists! Oh man, dude, dear one rocket! Oh my god. Whoa, god. Huh, wait. Hold on. Oh, it's not showing me. I have a rocket on my head. Wait a minute. Let me go into uh let me go into my normal mode. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot to show you the uh the gear that I has. <laughs> Look at me! Look at me carrying a rocket on my head. That's awesome. And then uh check this out. So I have the oxygen mask, I have a parachute, I have uh, oxygen gear. 
and they have some oxygen tanks as well. The uh, the armor is is uh it's not letting you see all of it, but anyway, okay, here we go. Do we put it down? Oh dang! Wait, why do I do I have multiple rockets? The heck! It hmm, that's interesting. Um, it uh, didn't use up the rocket. So I guess if we, we need to mulligan, we get to mulligan. All right, I'm down. I'm down with that. Thank you, thank you for the mulligan. There's also a water dragon down there. Um, okay, well that, it's fine by me. Apparently I just have infinite rockets. I'm not sure if that was a bug or if that's how it's supposed to be, but I don't mind either way. That's cool. Takes some pressure off. Takes a lot of pressure off, actually. Okay, one sec. Uh, did the ro water dragon just disappear on me? Where'd it go? Huh, just completely disappeared. Interesting. Well. Let me just toss this on back in here. It's somewhere safe. God dang it, I keep forgetting I put down pressure plates. <sighs> okay. Um, I'll just, just toss you back in here for now. Wait, I can't shift click it. Anyway, cool. So do we want to get in just to see what it feels like to be an astronaut? Let's just get in real quick. And uh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't launch. Oh, it's okay, okay. Space is launched. I'm not launching. I'm getting out. Oh, wait. Okay. That was... <laughs> scared me for a second. It doesn't have any fuel in it, though, so I don't think that would have worked. Um, anyway. Does the... Uh, oh, I thought that maybe it was disabled. Um, so what else do we need? We need to... Well, we need to fuel it up. So, fuel loader right here. And uh, put that down right there, I think. Cool. That's going to load it up. Um, where do I actually see how much fuel is in it? F, inventory and fuel. Okay, 0% and I do have the inventory for it, so. Cool. Get out of there. Look at that weird, per that's an interesting perspective. You can just keep it. Oh, there's the water dragon. Let me just take it out real quick. Hey, uh, Mr. Water Dragon, I'm so sorry for your loss, but uh, you're, you go and die. You go and die. It's getting knocked back so far, and see you, bud. All right. May as well do that. Get some fishies. Get some fishy food. Anyway. Okay, so... Oh, I need to power this thing. Um, so that means... Eh. I'll just put down the... Uh, the ge I'll just use the geothermal generator to, to fill it up. Why not? Let's do that. Because um, otherwise I don't think it's going to actually fill. It actually has to have some power. Aluminum wire. And I'm going to remember to use the wrench to break it this time and not be an idiot. Uh huh. There and there. Boom. Okay, filling up and like so. Okay, you have fuel and uh, load fuel. How long does it take? I wonder. Let's see. So F is inventory fuel. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't take too many. Good, 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 very good. Oh, that's quick. Oh, I thought it was gonna take way more. We're sending, we're sending a rocket to, we're sending a rocket to the moon. Takes a bucket of fuel essentially. Okay, hey, it's fine by me. Doesn't matter. We're good. <laughs> cool with that. Not gonna complain. Not gonna complain. Let's get out of there. And uh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, well that was. That was extremely easy. I guess it, oh, it's just one, that's yeah, just one can of fuel. That's all it, it takes. I thought maybe it'd be multiple, but hey, fine by me. All right, grab that. Grab our aluminum. Grab a wrench before I, I'm gonna grab a wrench. Okay. And I would say I need to take the fuel loader with me, except that I'm gonna use a telepad to get back. So, um. Anyway, let's see. I'm um, gonna toss that back in. And anything else I should toss back in. Don't need the heavy duty plates, the raw fish. Um, don't think I need that. Do I need the buckets? Don't think so. Um, all I need is the wrench and cool. Well, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Are you guys ready for uh, for a lift off, for blast off? T minus a minute or so? It's gonna, dude, I'm, I'm stoked on this. This is actually, this is one of the, like, most exciting mod things that I've gotten to do. 
so far. Okay, and please, yes, it gave me the geothermal generator back. Thank you for that. And, all right, beautiful. We are ready to rock and roll. I think it's, I think it's time, man. We have our, we have our oxygen gear on. Um, I'm just gonna, oh God. <laughs> I hope that things do not go terribly wrong. Oh boy, we are gonna, I guess we'll see. Oh boy, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Actually, I'm kind of nervous, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the bathroom first, just in case things go terribly wrong, and I need to spend some time fixing it. So hold on, just one second. Okay, here we go. I think I have everything I need. Right, dirt, uh, blah, planting trees, oxygen stuff, oxygen collector. We have a power source. We have wire to wire everything up. We have a flag to stake our claim. We have a wrench just in case. We have oxygen pipes. I think we have everything we need. We also have a telepad in case we need to run back before. Yeah. Okay. It's time. The time is upon us. It is time to blast off. I don't even need to use my inventory, but it's there. If we need it, we're 100% full on fuel. Moment of truth and launch. T minus 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Uh, Houston, we've got uh, some liftoffs coming in soon. I'm trying to make a radio voice. Uh,. Houston, clears all systems are go, and oh my god, we're blasting off. We're blasting off. Can I steer this thing? Can I steer this thing? I don't know. Oh, I can, I can steer it, sort of, but I just want to just keep it straight. Keep it going straight. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, here we go. I'm a rocket man, burning up and filled up here We're blasting off. Oh, look at the... Look at all of Minecraft you fading below us as we go high into the atmosphere. Yes, and the inventory, our fuel is good. Our fuel is good. Our fuel is a beauty. It's a beauty. How do I escape my in it's searching? Why are you searching? Stop searching. I need to get out it. Out it. Get out went back to game. We're good. <laughs> Just wouldn't exit my inventory. Okay, we're going. Look at the bar over on the left. We're make we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it! Oh man, we're in outer space! This is crazy! This is the best! I have a rocket on my head too! I'm a blaze man! I'm an outer space blaze man! And... <gasps> create space station, that's another option, that's kinda cool. Um, oh, I need I need to get resources in order to do that. That's, that's cool, I guess we're going to the moon! We're going to the moon! Gravity 18% and... Send to dimension! Here we go! Oh god, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, warning, hold space to slow down, okay! Slowing down. I'm holding down space. Slow me down. Where's the moon? Oh god. Space. Slow. 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 Be safe. Be safe. I have a parachute. I have a parachute. Uh, it's really dark. Why is it so dark? Oh god. Oh god. I can't see anything. Are we on the dark side of the moon right now? Oh, there we go. It's clearing up. It's clearing up. Check out this lunar rover thing. Oh god. Oh god. Don't. Don't. Oh, we're good. <gasps> we're good. We're good. Woo. We made it. We made it. Do we dismount? We dismount it. Oh my god, we're on the moon, dudes. We're on the moon. Yes. Successful. We successfully made it to the moon. Okay, so now I need to, I think I need to like get on things real quick because my oxygen is going to start wearing down. Oh my god, that gravity. That gravity. Moon turf. What is, is this like, is this moon sewage? Okay, fair enough. It appears there are lots of moon creatures as well. Okay, so, um... We're gonna let's stay next to our, our uh, landing landing thing and uh, do stuff. Oh man! Oh, do we actually leave footsteps? Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Um, anyway, okay. So we need to start putting down some uh, some dirt, I guess, and some leaves, some trees, just so we get some oxygen going, and then we can make an oxygen collector to uh, grab the oxygen from it. I think. Right? Okay. So. Uh, where do we want to make it? Let's do it right over there. Let's do our, our base right over here on this um, plateau. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Okay, so um, let's mine out some stuff. All right, I should actually put down a telepad too. Um, oh, look at that. It goes flying. That's amazing. This is the best. Okay, so I'm going to put down a little thing of dirt here just so we can start. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. How did I? God dang it! I messed up so badly. I messed up so badly. Oh my God! How did I? How did I honestly manage? How did I honestly manage to mess up so badly? 
when I got when I got out of the, the rover, I didn't say I didn't say uh, that's one small step for Blaze Man, one giant step for Blaze Mankind. Welcome to the so not why can't why can't I put the thing down? I wanna put my friggin' flag down. Well let me put my stupid Wow. Wow, all this. All this and I can't even put my flag down. Unbelievable. Moon, not even supporting my endeavors, cheese. That's rude. That's rude. Maybe I can put it on, on dirt or something. All I wanted to do is place down a flag. God dang it. Alright, well, we can get some trees going at least. Boom, 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 do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm singing Indiana Jones. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, can't put down the flag, so I guess we can get that out of our hot bar. Bummer. Oxygen tanks, are they good? Can I... Oh, there we go. I was worried that maybe I couldn't grow uh, grow trees on the moon. Actually, I should just space out the grass. I don't know why I... Yeah, why would I do that? I don't need to... I don't need to... Do... I don't need to put all the grass together. Okay, so that. And then boom, boom, boom. Let us start making our little moon base. Just so that we have at least a sustainable, like, oxygen supply and stuff. Okay, so tree there, and actually let me just, uh, I'll start putting down some leaves in places as well, just like, you know, make a little, make a little hedge thing. I don't know if this is supposed to be pretty or not, but, uh, I, it is what it is, I suppose. I don't even know what I'm trying to do with my leaf configuration here, but whatever. Okay. I'll just make a, I guess I'll just make a row of trees surrounded by leaves and there will be so much oxygen. It will be great. Um, my tanks are wearing down though, so I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to put down those oxygen collectors. Okay. Put down another uh, tree right here or something. Oops. There we go. And then, I don't know, I'll put down like one more right here. Cool. And... Bow meal. Okay. There we go. So I don't know if we want to... I guess let's put the oxygen collector like right down here. Right next to, uh, in the midpoint of all this. Oxygen collector, and then we're gonna need. To, I think we need to power all this, so I may as well put down the uh, the generator as well. Okay, so uh, let me see. Put it down like that, and then okay, so that's the uh, collector, and then we need the sealer and the bubble uh, distributor. Oh, I should have made a. I need to make another compressor, duh, so that I can uh, fill up more tanks, so that I can actually explore on the moon. Um, oh well. Can, uh, I can go back to the old world and make a, make another one, but for now, let's do this. And uh, all right, so geothermal generator. I'm gonna put it like that so I don't get the silly textures. And put you down right there. Boom, filling up. Cool. And do you have power? No, I guess we just have to hook up. Um, like. So, god dang it, put it down the wrong way. Of course I did. <laughs> no, god! No. No. No, 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 no. That's, that's a mulligan. That's a mul- did. that's not happening right now. We're not doing this. Nope, not doing your stupid, that's a mulligan, right? No. Okay. Uh, let me get, I'm giving myself another one. I'll be right back. That was dumb. That was dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Geothermal generator down. And then the oxygen collector goes this way this time. There we go. Now it has power. Great. And, oh, it has lots of, lots of oxygen. Cool. Cool, cool. And then, oh, God, the oxygen, oxygen pipe has to go out the other way. God dang it. <laughs> um, and that goes to, I assume it goes to both these. So um, let's put down... That right there, and that right there, maybe something like that, and then boom, boom, has power, and then we just need to uh, right on the other side connect some. Uh, right on the 
the other side, we just have to uh, connect some oxygen wires. Okay, so let's see. Oxygen pipes, I mean. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And let's check out. Let's check out what it's looking like. Okay, so, yup. Oh, so much Oh, so much oxygen. And, okay. Oh, so there's a little bubble thing. There we go. So if we stand inside the bubble, we have oxygen. That's great. How big does this bubble go, I wonder? Does it go really big? Let's keep watching. Oh, keep watching it expand. Oh, this is sick. Check this out. Oh, my God. This is amazing. How big is it going to go? How big is it going to go? And how much power does it need in order to do that? It's uh, It's got good, it's got good power. It's still going. It's still expanding. Oh, man. The bubble distributor is great. And then, I don't know. Um, I mean, if we have this bubble thing, do we need the... Uh, do we even need the the sealer? Maybe the sealer is for something else. It is still going. Holy crap. And stopped. Okay. Oh, that's great though. So I think we can even like uh, take off, like let me take off my mask in here. We're good to go. Sweet. All right. Well, we have, uh, have a little moon bit. What happens if I walk outside the seal? Oh, okay. Instantly just nope. <laughs> Oxygen setup is invalid. You are suffocating and dying. All right. Well, we'll keep our stuff on. We'll keep our stuff on. But I'm going to have to go and make a, uh, a th the compressor just so I can refill tanks. Although I can always just run back to the overworld to, to fill tanks, I suppose. Um, let me put down a telepad. Let's do that. That's probably a good call. Um, I can put down the, uh, the telepad. I mean, this doesn't look pretty this at the moment. Uh, but eh, whatever. I'll put it down right there. And we'll call it Telepath the Moon. That's fairly accurate description of it. Cool. I'm down. And let's see. Uh, can we go back easily? I think we probably can. Carrie's Castle. And oh my goodness. Thank you for traveling faster than the speed of light. The best around. No one's ever going to bring me down. Except when I accidentally destroy my geothermal generator with a pickaxe. That brings me down. Definitely brings me down. Okay. Anyway. Uh, dude, we are super good. Oh, it has to... Oh, every time you reload the dimension, it has to do the bubble thing over and over, and over again. That's inconvenient. Um, let me waypoint this. Oh, there's a portal. What the heck? Why is there a portal? That's wait. Is that oh? Is that how you get back and forth? Hold on. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Let me uh, let me waypoint this really quickly. Waypoint name telepad uh, color is purple as usual. Trying to get it to be the right purple. There we go. Done. And wait a minute. What does this do over here? Let me check out. Is this another portal? I'm confused. Why is there? Why is there another portal here? The heck? Uh, tropics, what? Hold on. Hold on, where is this? Um. What? Why are we here? Why are we, why are we here right now? I'm really confused. Where is this going to take me? Is it going to take me back home or? Okay. I mean, that's interesting. Huh, that's really interesting. Is that supposed to happen? Like, there's supposed to be another portal on the moon? Oh, well, at least I can back, get back really easily. I don't know how I would have gotten back if I didn't have telepads, though. Huh. Anyway, I guess, uh... Oh, that bubble thing's still going. Okay, well, um, you know what? I think... I think I may call it there for this episode. We got a little moon base going. It's pretty cool. Um, I did see a structure over on the horizon... So uh, maybe we'll go explore that next time. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. We made good progress. I'm happy. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you did enjoy your rating, we'd be much appreciated. And that's about going to do it. So uh, I'll see you all in the next episode.